of Jenna of Queen Anne's County High School, and she has an awesome portrait of a lion. Tell me about your inspiration for it. Uh, well, I usually don't do full, like, take up the whole page when I draw. It's a challenge, and the same with drawing textures like fur and um, eyes and doing stuff like that. It's very difficult, so I wanted to challenge myself and step out of what I'm used to and just you know, do my best at what I try to do every day. <laughs> well, you did an amazing job on this portrait. It really comes to life. It looks very real. Um, and I'm quite sure that um, it'll be around for a very long time. I hope so. so what are your um, other aspirations in art? Well, I definitely want to get better at using color and uh, different stuff like that. I want to like, get better at people and architectural design and doing stuff like that. So, um, just things that are challenging for me right now that I want to get better at. Okay, excellent. And congratulations. <laughs> Hi, we're here with Audrey of Graysonville Elementary School and she deserves the honor that she is getting for her artwork. Audrey, tell us a little bit about your artwork. Um, it's a cactus with lines all over it and, and my art teacher wanted us to use colors that didn't blend in together, so I used all the links. Wow, how long did it take you to create this masterpiece? Two days. Only two days? Wow, you are a true artist. What do you plan to do in the future with art? Um, I don't know. Yet. Don't know yet? Well, I tell you, I think you'll make a great art teacher. This is phenomenal. Thank you. We have the finest here from Sutherlandsville Elementary. Tell us a little bit about your artwork. Well, I'd say it's pretty, like, the way we did it was really extraordinary. Like, our teacher, all the ideas of our teacher, because, like, we made it with, like, we made it with different materials. It was very exciting, and I just loved it. Tell us a little bit about the materials. Like, we use Mod Podge to make it shiny and glossy. We used oil pastels and um, we used Sharpie for the um, vivid designs. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like there's a, a face. Is that a face in here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Excellent. Do you plan to do other things in the future with art? Yeah. I just love art. It's creative. Excellent. Excellent. Well, congratulations on your artwork and being a part of the gallery. We are here with Ava Walls with her masterpiece. Can you share a little bit about your masterpiece with us, especially the colors, Ava? Um, first of the colors, I chose them because they inspire me by my art teacher because she's very creative and she blends her colors when she first demonstrated and she did she did cold colors and I really like the mixtures. And then for the tree branches, we made it with um, cardboard. We scrapped cardboard and brown plate together to make it look effective as tree bark and then we build it together to make trees. Excellent. This is an amazing masterpiece of art. Thank you. Is, or is art something that you plan to continue to do? Yes. When I grow up, I want to be an art teacher. Excellent. And congratulations Thank on being a part of the gallery. Thank you. Hi, we are here with Riley of Centerville Middle School. Tell us a little bit about your artwork. Well, I mean, basically we just, um, so we're working on using value and like proportions, like where the eyes go, where the nose, the mouth, and like making it look realistic. But then we also had to have like ob objects in the background like that describe you, because this is a self-portrait after all. <laughs> so I put a pencil because I love to draw. I love just everything in general. I, I love Jesus. <laughs> These paw prints are for my cat because my cat just... He's all, he's all over everything. Uh, I love drama, and this wasn't mentioned, but I love music, but the sad drama face is singing blue notes, but then the happy one is singing it, and it's going through my ears, because I'm usually positive. And yeah, so basically we we're just working with different types of, of pencil. We were gonna use charcoal, but it just gets everywhere, just to make 
us. Excellent. Well, you did a wonderful portrait of Thank yourself. You. Um, it's very defined with the lines, all of the imagery that is, that's there. So what are your plans as it relates to continuing to do art? Well, I mean, right now I'm kind of writing a graphic novel um, wow. that I'm hoping to get published. And I just love drawing in general. So, yeah. Well, keep us informed on your um, graphic novel that you're writing. We would love to hear more about it. Thank you. Everyone's saying that. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We are here with Miss Elizab Isabella from Kent Island Elementary School and her beautiful masterpiece. Isabella, can you tell us a little bit about your painting? Um, our painting is like a, we can do like any scene, like a night or day scene and a sunrise or a sundown. I decided a sunrise with, uh, with warm colors for a sun and cool colors for our sky and water colors for everything. That is absolutely amazing. Can you tell us some of the images that are in your painting? The images are like pumpkins, four hills, Wow. two trees, one little one and one big one, mm -hmm. sky and a sun. Oh wow, that is awesome. How did you went uh, about doing your colors? You have awesome color, color schemes in here. We just have water, water colors. Oh, wow. We, we dipped them in water, and then we put them in paint, then we put them a little bit of water and rubbed it. And my teacher said the more water you use, the more we use also crayon, and the more water you use on top of the crayon and paint, the more the crayon will show up. Wow. Well, you did an awesome job, Isabella. Are you going to continue to do more art? Uh-huh. Excellent. Congratulations on being a part of the gallery. Thank you. Island High School and his awesome masterpiece of nice colors and I think it's a beautiful landscape that we have here. But I'm going to let Sean tell us some very detailed information about his painting. Oh, uh, well, the point of the project was to find a landscape that kind of speaks about yourself. And uh, I found a couple different pictures I really liked, but in the end I really liked the, uh, just the still lake and the mountains, and uh, yeah, so I went with it. So what was the process in doing this? Pencil, pen, what was the, the process? Well, uh, this was a pointillism project, and we used paint, so it's thousands of tiny little dots forming value and creating a picture in the end. Excellent, excellent. So what was your um, aspect behind the colors that you chose for your painting? Well, I based everything off the picture on Google. Okay. But uh, <laughs> the colors, uh, I've always been a fan of green and blue. Okay. So I thought they looked nice together. Excellent. So what are your plans to continue, continue in art? Uh, unfortunately, this might be my last class. Next year's schedule is pretty full. Okay. But uh, I hope to draw in my free time, and I hope I never give up drawing. Excellent. Uh, excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations on being a part of the superintendent's gallery, and uh, your artwork is, is awesome. Thank you. Thank you tuning in to our um, superintendent's art gallery and we do this twice a year we will be taking this down and changing for, and our new reception will be in may so hope, for you, hope you tune in there and that you continue to support the arts in queen Anne's county thank you